Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how and when to apply conditional formatting to cells. We want to apply conditional format when certain cells need to be highlighted dynamically. In this case, what we have is column C containing sales numbers for each one of our reps. And we want to apply a special format when sales are greater than $150,000. Now, some of you are probably saying, hold on, you know, all I have to do is go over here and sort my values from top to bottom. Yes, you could. Let me undo this for a second. But what we want in this case is we want to keep, we want to maintain the custom sort that we have. We want to have all the sales reps in the Northeast or the Mid-Atlantic group together, but in this long list, when we have sales that are greater than the condition that we set up, we want to highlight them. Let's show you how to do it. Highlight the cells that we want to apply conditional formatting to. In this case it's in column C and then we go up to format, choose conditional formatting, and let's first set the condition. In this case we're choosing the cell value is and then from the operators we chose greater than or equal to. In this case we hard coded in a value 150,000. I prefer not to hard code, but rather to make it a cell reference. This way, if I want to change my mind later on, I can have that condition change. Remember, it's conditional formatting, so the next step is then to choose the format that we want. Let's change this. Let's make it a yellow pattern. So we use the tab up there, the pattern, and then the color, and then click OK, and there we go. Let me illustrate why I prefer to make it a cell reference. So now if I chose to have it be 160,000, you see that the conditional format had changed. If I wanted to make it, let's say, 175,000, once again, dynamically, my conditional formatting changes. OK, let's come over here into this scenario. Over here, we've imported data, and we're concerned that some of the numbers are not actually numbers, that they're actually text disguised as numbers. Let's highlight the cells that we want to apply conditional formatting to. Come back up to Format, Conditional Formatting, and in this case we won't use the cell value is that we did in the last one, we'll choose Formula is. And then we have to write the formula. So we wrote equals and then use the function is text and then the cell that we refer to is a relative reference. It's the first cell, A2, in our range of values that we want to apply conditional formatting to. Let's change the color. Let's make it this color. Click OK. Click OK. So there you have it. Now every cell that is actually a number we can spot and then go through and change. We can convert it to a number. And you see the conditional format change there because it's a number. It's not text. Let's take a look over here. Similar to our first example, except we're going to use a formula. What we want to do is spot the five highest sales figures in this range. So not just the top ones, but as conditions change, we want to be able to see the top five. So if I made this 300,000, you see how it changes dynamically. And what we would do, very similar to our last example, we're using conditional formatting where formula is. So we go highlight the cells, format, conditional formatting, formula is. And then we type in our formula and then apply the conditional formatting. OK, here's an interesting one. We set up a data table to be able to show us different scenarios. What if analysis? So what would our monthly payment on a $75,000 loan be at different monthly payments and different interest rates? In this case, let's apply conditional formatting to spot the cells in this data table that give us a monthly payment less than $1,000. Start by selecting the data that we want to apply conditional formatting to. Format conditional formatting. And in this case, we will use the cell value is and we'll use less than and we will hard code in a thousand dollars. And now we'll choose our format. Oh, let's say this format. Click OK. Click OK. And there you go. OK, our final this is a popular formatting. What we want to do is we want to produce formatting in this range of cells where every other row is shaded. This is the formula that we'll use. So we'll highlight 
the cells that we want to apply this formatting to. Format, conditional formatting, formula is, and this is our format. This is the formula that we use. Equals mod, enclosed in parentheses, row, parentheses, parentheses, comma, two, left, right parentheses, equals zero. And there you have our tips and time savers. We'll see you in the next lesson.